Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Sunday's Live. Today, I am going to answer general questions as well as do some animal communication. And for those who don't who know who I am, my name is Dulce. And I've been talking with animals for, gosh, a little over 10 years now. And I do this through using my intuition and my abilities, my psychic abilities, tapping into any and all of my senses, which all of you have the same ability. You all are born with this. We're all born like this. So let me welcome everybody. I have Jamela. Jamela, you're new. Thank you for being here. And Julia and Mike, of course. Hey, Mike. Hey, Deb. How are you people? So glad you're here. So <clears throat> this is how it works. Um, I will come into a place of connecting with your animal. And I just need to know a specific question and their name. And if nobody's asking me to connect with their fur baby, that's fine. I can answer general questions as well. But I do see some people, Jamela, because I'm going to go in line of what is being posted here. But everybody, let me know if you can see me. Um, just say hello again. I know you've been saying hello before going live, but I really want to Thank you for all of you being here. And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much for watching the replay. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you stay up to date with all of my videos, whether long or short or going live. So um, let's get started. Oh, I just want to align my energies here. <sighs> thank you. Thank you. Hi, Trick. Okay, Jamila, I hope I'm saying your name right. Um, So your dog, Princess. Okay. Princess, let me see if I can connect with Princess. And let me know you're still here, Jamila. Can you let me know? Hey, Arlene. Hello, hello, hello. Arlene, can you let me know? I mean, um, Jamila, can you let me know if you're still here? And if not, that's okay, because you'll watch the replay and get the feedback. Princess. Oh, yes. So I'm seeing not just dog energy around you, princess. She had, okay, this is wild. She had the biggest eyelashes. Dogs, you, we never really notice eyelashes from animals, right? Jamela. So princess is showing me her eyes are so bright and she has eyelashes that were really noticeable. She's doing great. Her energy is just so pristine. It's just so pristine. So this, these eyelashes are amazing. Yes, you will be seeing her again. It's going to be in a different type of body. She's showing me. She's showing me it's going to be in another little body. That's all she's going to show me. She did, right? Those eyelashes. Like, so, so, so sweet. Her energy is so sweet. Um, hey, Marika. Hello, sweetie. What I recommend you do is just envision how you would like her to come back to you. And think about that one life lesson. Think about that one life lesson you wanted to continue working with her so she, she can further help you. And then let it go. Let it go. Don't focus on when it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. Just know that it will happen in the right time. Then you got to let it go. She's powerful. And she wants you to know a teapot? I don't know. What's what's going on with a teapot? Did you break a teapot? Something very fragile? Something very fragile? Where there's like an urn like that's shaped like a teapot? Does that make sense, Jamela? Mm. I'm going to move on. I definitely recommend also, Jamila, in my um, in my link here below th this video, I did put my free resources. I definitely recommend you using my free guided meditation. It will help you align with Princess and actually allow you to stay in the present moment. Okay, I'm going to move on. Not sure. I know this teapot. I don't know why she's showing me a teapot. I don't know why she's showing me teapots. Don't know. But the eyelashes, that's a signature. That's a letting me know she's connected. She's here right now. And she loves you so much. And she's really proud of you. 
you really are moving forward. I'm gonna move forward. I'm I'm gonna move forward now. And she says, Yeah, that's good. She says, I'm good for now. <laughs> All right, Julia. Oh, good morning. I'm so excited to be here. I heard of you through my sister-in-law, NJ. So I got a question when I read this the first time was does MJ live on a farm? Does MJ live on a farm, Julia? Um, and is she the one I was referring to the sheeps? The sheeps yesterday in a video I did. Uh, you are so welcome, Jamala. Coffee, maybe, yeah. It's it's but it's 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 really pretty. Do you have something that's really beautiful? No, she lives in Philly, but she wants to live on a farm. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Okay, then this is a different MJ, but that's okay. This is this is really cool. I'm gonna go to your question now, sweetie. Uh, let's go here. I'm so excited. I heard of you. Too. I lost my soul cat last year, and I never felt him around me. Okay, Julia, what is his name? What is his name, sweetie? <clears throat> what is your cat's um, name? We have Kanga and Gravy. Hi, MJ. <gasps> what is his name? What is your cat's name? Pip. Okay, Pip. His name is Pip. His name is Pip. I see a black and almost calico, black calico type cat around energy around you. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, dear heavens. Oh, so his personality, he's, oh, this is amazing. <clears throat> his personality is kind of, if you would picture an English butler speaking, oh my, dear heavens, why would you ever think that? Why would you ever feel that? That's what he's saying. <laughs> I, I mean, if you could picture in a human form, a, a gentleman with a beautiful top hat and and a cane an umbrella cane around his hand arm and just twirling it you know like oh my no 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 almost like a penguin you know how prim and proper penguins are in their way they their statue is when they stand up tall that's how he is because he's showing me he's standing on two feet he's standing on his two hind legs he's very prim and proper he's a he's such a gentleman mr pip He's such a, yes, that's, that's his personality. It's like, whoa, how, why would you ever feel or think that? He wants you to know you're totally off. He, he's like, no, he doesn't want you to think that. He doesn't want you to feel that. He's like, it was perfect timing. So he was at a place in the physical body where you were really torn you were really torn. It was between trying to pro prolong it on this end with dollars and cents and dollars, dollar signs, and knowing that even doing this would still have the same outcome over here. You really struggled. And there was arguments over this. Julia, and you always had him in a bow tie. Yes. He's very prim and proper. Oh my God, that top hat, a top hat. But he wants you to know, he knows the arguments you had. You battled with this. He, he, you, did, you made the right decision. You heard him. He was communicating. Pip was communicating with you. Yes, it all happened so fast. You did the right thing. You, you followed his lead on this. And the way you followed his lead is, in that moment, he's showing me, in that moment, you knew it was out of your control and you had to go that direction. It was, it was done because you could, you could feel it here, but he didn't want you to think he's gone. He's not gone. How could he be gone? If we're getting this information, Julia, he loves you so much. Hold on to that black tie. Do you have one with hearts? 
Do you have one with hearts, sweetie? <laughs> yeah, Julia. <laughs> Pip used to wear <laughs> Yes. Do you have a black tie with hearts on it? Something with hearts. He's showing me. He's showing me that that was one of your favorites. And he always, he always allowed you to dress him around here. He was okay with that because it made you feel so good. Because he's just such a gentleman. He just is such a gentleman. So I hope that helps you. So there's nothing. He doesn't want you to, you know, let it go. Let it go. You did everything so perfectly. It's powerful. <laughs> so I hope that helps you. Can you breathe better now? He says he's, you're having trouble breathing. He's actually showing me you're having trouble breathing. <sighs> Just take a deep breath. Yes, Julia, are you breathing better? He He's telling me you're starting to breathe better, but I want to make sure you're breathing better. Are you breathing better? Ooh, I'm a little lightheaded. Okay, the crying is good. Okay, the crying is good because it's going to allow you to release which no longer serves you. So your initial question, you're done. You got your answer. Doesn't serve you. You don't need to go there anymore. You don't need to feel it. You don't need to think it. It's not part of your life anymore. He is part of your life. Now in such a beautiful unconditional soul connection. Do you get it now? Do you get it? You are so welcome. You are so, so welcome. All right. I'm going to move on. And of course, if I don't connect with everyone's, you know, cats, dogs, bunnies, birds, whatever, um, feel free to book a session. Definitely. You can book a session. I have many and I have full readings. Hi, Trek. <laughs> All right. Hey, Mike. Good morning. Oh, so how are Oh, Stevie's doing good. He's indoors. He's, oh, he's sleeping up on the steps. He just heard his name. We were moving furniture around. I was rearranging my sanctuary. Thank you so much. So it's more open. And so everybody was like running all over the place. They were getting all excited. You know, improving feng shui in a home is powerful. You get to watch the cats like kind of go, Ooh, we got to move, but then we come back and they're like investigating. And it was just so, so cute. Okay. I'm going to move on. Um, let's see. Just going to go right down the line of the comments. Hey, SB. Hey, sweetie. I was wondering if my cat Willie, who passed away last year, would be able to tell me some of the lessons we were meant to learn together. Willie. Mm. Willie. Ah, yes. So one of his Nick's, Nick's name, one of his nickname, Willie, is willing, willy, willing. You have to be willing to say yes to things. You, you very well sometimes say no. You hesitate. So SB, I'm going to put this up here. One of your life lessons with Willie is you have to stop even now because he's in spirit he wants you stop resisting and be willing be willing to open your heart stop resisting things just go with the flow even if things aren't what you want them to be take one thing in the last 24 72 hours that you did not want to have happen. Something about you messed up something in the shopping. He's showing me, a, showing me you shopping and you messed up something in the shopping. So take that one thing. What did you learn? What can you learn from something that didn't make you feel good and go, wait a minute, the next time I'm just going to slow down, not worry about my timing and take my time Maybe even write some things down and everything will come to me. You resist. Stop resisting. Does that make sense, SB? Oh. Does that make sense? <laughs> you might you hear that. I know, right? With the furniture moving. I know, right? It's amazing. So, um, SB, does that make sense? There's there's things whenever you feel resistance, Willie comes through and he doesn't want you to resist. He wants you to go, yes, 
It feels icky or it feels right. I got it. Or it feels not so great, but I'm going to learn from it. Does that make sense? It makes total sense. I miss him so much. He doesn't want you to miss him. He's right here. Willie is, oh my goodness. Mm. Do you play a musical instrument? Do you play a musical instrument? I see notes and I see a flute. So SB, do you play musical instruments or a musical instrument, sweetie? I see notes. You do. You do. Thank you. He's he's wanting you to continue playing. <laughs> and he's showing me he's going to move that sheet music. You know, your sheet music with all the notes on it. He's going to be moving. That. He's going to go to let you know he's right there with you. He wants you to play more music. Can you play more music? The ukulele. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. He just showed me an instrument. Wasn't sure, but the notes. He showed me the musical notes. Powerful. He wants you to get outside and play. And, and he wants you to do this barefoot outside. He really, because you, I mean, this is what you love to do. This brings you joy. Powerful. Powerful. Aw. <laughs> Stevie's playing with his toys over there. That's, if you hear a bell, that's Stevie. All right, I'm going to move on. So just so you know, as I'm doing these readings, oof, let me just clear. As I'm doing these readings, I'm just going down the line. <clears throat> um, Let's see. Marika, Mar Marika, Marika, can you please see any souls around me? Can you tell me if you see any souls around you? <coughs> Someone who had trouble breathing, an older woman. Someone... <coughs> Where's your thing? So, Marika, someone, who, an older woman, <clears throat> was there an older woman in your life that had trouble breathing? Because I'm, I'm lightheaded and dizzy. Trouble breathing, lightheaded and dizzy. <clears throat> Are you still here, Marika? I got to blow my nose, too. Somebody who had major, major blockage between here and here. <sighs> Your grandmother, she was a smoker a lot. Yeah, Whew. she's here. She's here. She's here. Now, she's not feeling this. She just came through to acknowledge to make sure I'm connected with the right woman that's connected to the right human soul that is on this live. There's a letter A, a letter A like Amanda or Allie or M. <laughs> she says, <laughs> she's so, she was, she's really funny. She's almost, she, she would have been a stand up comedian. And she says, you, you guys. Stevie's playing. You guys, you guys, you guys got to stop arguing. Stop the bickering. You guys keep biting each other, each other's heads off. And the animals don't like it. The animals don't like it. Do, do you get her point? <laughs> she tried to use humor to, to clear the bad energy. That was her only way. That was her own. She's really funny. She, if she could have been a stand-up comedian, she would have been. Does that make sense, Marika? Does that make sense? But she's saying you guys have to stop the bickering because the animals are not happy about it. And the animals do zoomies with her. There's a dog. She had, a, a, when she was in the physical world, she had a dog with her. Does that make sense? She had a, she's showing me almost like a golden, golden retriever. I'm not sure. A large dog. But they're together now with a lot of other people and a lot of other animals. So, Marika, I hope that helps you. Um, 
Let me see if there's anybody else that has any questions. Hey, Allison, you're here. I'm wondering if my dear, sweet, I'm wondering, oh, George, Georgia. I've connected with her before. Allison, haven't I connected with her before? Ooh. Here. <laughs> I can't move. I can't. <clears throat> um. Wait, you can't believe what? Oh, hold, hold on for a second. You can't believe. If, if Let me know if I'm off point. If she was not like trying to be the jokester trying to light hard be the light-hearted one let me know because i gotta know <laughs> she i mean she's here she's still hanging over here so <laughs> hi stevie she's such a good boy um he's helping me by the way everybody who knows stevie he's helping me he's helping me so i'm not absorbing any of this energy MJ, don't you worry. I'll be addressing your question. I can't believe. It. Oh, I was all right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, pay, but pay attention. Pay attention to what she's telling you. Pay attention to what she's telling you. Lighten your heart, girl. Live life to the fullest with a light heart. Be joy. Be happy. That's what she's telling you. And you know that. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> You, okay, I'm not going to use profanity, but she, kick you in the you-know-what. <laughs> She's kicking you in the you-know-what. All right, little Georgia. Little Georgia. Little Georgia. Oh, whoa. Okay, so Georgia is here. There's a garden. So Allison, you can feel Stevie. It's going zoom, zoom, zoom. So Allison, Allison. So Georgia, why is, do you have a garden? Do you have a beautiful garden? Because Georgia is showing me. She's in a garden. You have in your... He just zonked out on the steps. Have you, do you have a garden where you actually put her her ashes? Um, Shrimp passed away in the garden. Well, there's a garden. There's a garden. And it's a beautiful garden. Oh, shrimp. So shrimp and Georgia, 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 George, is it Georgia or Georgie or George? Is it Georgia? Yes or no? Is it Georgia? Yes. I want to make sure I'm saying her name right. And shrimp. Well, um, it, it, when shrimp was in the body, he or she was a gray or a gray or white, gray or white, small body. I got a gray cat around me. I'm not talking about Stevie. <laughs> Is it Georgia? <clears throat> so, Allison, I'm waiting for you to confirm. <laughs> Red with white chest blades. Okay, I don't, I'm not connected with him then. <clears throat> oh. Okay, so that, this is why we've got the garden here. So Georgia is saying stay away from the poison ivy. You got to get rid of the grape. MJ, thank you for that. I'll ho hold on to that thought. You've got to get, you don't go near the poison ivy. There's poison ivy that's growing. So be very careful of that. There's poison ivy, Allison, that's growing in the garden. Be very careful of that. You have to take care of that. <clears throat> I'm going to move on. Powerful. Powerful. Visit that garden. You need to plant more stuff in that garden too. Thank you. MJ, what is your question? I was originally going to ask about him, but asked about Panda instead. Okay, well, you're great. We have a dog named Dash who is white with a gray patch. Now, this was a cat. This was a cat. This was a cat. I saw a, a very light gray cat. A very light gray cat. So MJ, is your cat light gray? I mean, is your 
animal that you're referring to was he or she in a cat body? But what is your question? Because I have energy for one more. I can feel it. <clears throat> MJ, um, I know that meant a lot to my sister. Oh, you're welcome. My dog. So MJ and you guys. Okay, I get it. I get it now. You and your sister. Get it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Panda. But I'm wondering if she has any message. Oh, so Panda, your dog. Oh, well, your, your cat's here, too. So let's see. Hold on. Panda, your dog. Yes, go on the vacation. Panda says, yes, do the vacation. Yes, do the vacation. Don't worry about the money. Something about a vacation you've been analyzing. <laughs> so Panda says, get, stop analyzing. You're an analyzer. Stop the analyzing. Do the vacation already. Oh, my God. And it's okay if Panda's not going. Just give him all the details regardless. But stop analyzing, MJ. Get, get to, let me put this back up there. I'm going to. Where was this? There we go. <laughs> We have a trip planned for June, <laughs> but we're nervous about leaving. Yes, yeah, stop it. Stop. Just do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he says, you just need to do it. Just, he knows about the trip. Your anxiety is going to give him anxiety about it. If plan it out, you've planned the trip out. So if somebody's taking care of him, make sure he knows who that is. He has a couple of visits with that person, right? Explain to him where you're going, when you're going, how you're getting there, why you're taking a vacation, who all is going, even if it's the whole family, maybe you're meeting some people there, please give him, give, give Panda all the details. And, and you need to let him know that you're going to be talking to him the whole time. And when you call in, to, I guess the dog sitter, yeah, they're, they've all met their new dog sitter a few times. Okay, so plan a time. This is so cool because whenever I would go away, I was always, always plan a time with whoever was taking care of the cats. I'd say, okay, I'm going to call at a certain time. Please pick up so that the, the cats can all hear my voice, even though telepathically they can hear me. But it was so much fun to watch them. So Plan a time with your pet sitter when you're going to call the pet sitter, when the pet sitter is at the house, and she could put the phone up or do a video. It's really cool. But give him as all the details as possible. But you can't have anxiety. So, MJ, if you have anxiety over the planning, the traveling, the quote-unquote missing, missing panda, guess what? Panda's going to think you're not doing well. So Panda's going to have some anxiety over you. Fact, oh, I hope she's okay. Or he's okay. Or they're okay. Whoever you are, your energy has to be of joy and love and compassion and the connection between you and Panda. You are so welcome, MJ. Um, yes. So when you're like, listen, you tell Panda like, hey, we're going out for the night. We'll be back really late, <laughs> but we'll be back going to the movies, going to go see fireworks, going to go whatever shopping. You're always telling Panda that it includes when you go on vacation, but that stress, that's what he's picking up. Yeah. The analyzing, the hemming, the hauling, the analyzing over this vacation. So, thank you, MJ. Thank you. Ooh. We we'll, um we always say we're always coming come back on our way. So the in here's the thing: when the day you're getting ready to pack up to come back home, you know, telepathically, Panda, we're packing up. We're getting on the flight. We should be walking in the door around twelve thirty this afternoon. Just do it. It they know they know time. Because they know the frequency around 1230. When you say 1230, they know, ooh, that's the middle of the day. That's a lunchtime. Ah, okay. 
Ooh, I took her to the vet and she passed away there. I wanted to know how she is doing. Okay, um, Desi, this is going to be, wait, let me make sure. Let me just make sure. Um, I was going to stop here, but let me, let me see if I can connect. All right, this is going to be my last reading. This is going to be my last reading for this live. And again, if I don't get to get to you or you're watching the replay, feel free to book a session, either a mini or a full session. And just, the link is in my bio. Um, you are so welcome. Let me say. Getting caught in her throat. Okay, we took her to the vets. So when Ginger was in the body, is Ginger a dog? Is Ginger, is Ginger a dog? Oh, Arlene, thank you so much for that comment. Thank you so much. So, um, Desi, could you please confirm if Ginger is, was in a dog body? Yes, thank you. I'm connected with her. Beautiful. Oh my God. She's so pristine again. This pristine, this glowing, she's glowing. So, <sighs> She wants you to stop remembering those la that last moment. She was two and a half months old. Yep. She wants you to stop remembering of the gagging and the swelling. Because she's showing me before she left the body, it, like her whole body swelled up. Her whole body swelled up. She's not worried about, she didn't leave anybody behind. She wants you to know she, her sister is fine. The reason why her sister appears to be sad is because you're freaking out. You, you haven't really processed this. You really have to stop feeling guilty. Stop feeling sad. You got to let it go. It happened. And it happened for a reason. There was no way she was going to physically survive that. There was no way. And it's okay. It is for you to experience the fact that it's now to start doing some inner work. Desi, you're, you're, you're really, your energies are flighty, if you know what I mean. You're up and down, up and down, up and down. We, she really, Ginger wants you to ground yourself with her sister and her. She wants you to start paying attention to your energies and your breathing. It's the reason. There's a reason she chose to leave the body this way to get your attention. This not having this clarity here is that you really need to come into your voice. You really need to come into alignment with your true self. And her sister and her will help you. Yeah, it was mom's dog and she just lost my dad. It was so broken away. I feel so bad. It's okay. Yes, don't feel bad. It's okay. There are reasons. These are all about life lessons. That's really all the energy I have. Really lightheaded today. Powerful. <coughs> really powerful. She really, she loves you so much. She loves everyone. Just be easy with yourself and no judgment Come from grace. Be that unconditional loving self for yourself and for everyone around you. And that will help. That will help your mom. That will help everyone. Oh, Mike, thank you so much. Deb, thank you so much for being here. Arlene, thank you so much. Wait, what did you say? Let's see, Mike. I can, I can also, they let me know if I've not been up front. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Powerful. Our animals are, they just show us the way. They just show us, I should say, they just show us our way. Our way for ourselves. Because it's always the right. It's always the right way. Always the right way. Um, Let's see. All right, everybody. MJ, you're so welcome. I'm so glad all of you are here and all of my new peeps that showed up and asked questions. I can't thank you enough. For those that are watching the replay, obviously, feel free to check out my services. 
and make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Have a beautiful Sunday and thank you so much because I can't do this without all of you. So thank you. Namaste, everybody.